with the CBC News break. Two murder accused are among seven young men to appear in court as police make a breakthrough in their investigations into several serious criminal matters. Sharad Jabari Phillips and Kimar Ward, both 23 years and of Parish Land Christ Church, are charged in connection with the fatal shooting of 27-year-old Sean Jordan of Gemswick St. Philip. Phillips, along with 26-year-old Javon Straker, also of Parish Land, is accused of three counts of serious bodily harm in connection with the shooting in St. Patrick's, which left three men injured. Phillips and 19-year-old Romario Antonio Hope of Lammings Park, St. Joseph, are jointly charged with the offense of aggravated burglary, in which a householder was shot at Lammings. The youngster, along with 24-year-old Joel Hunt, 26-year-old Nathaniel Robinson and 26-year-old Damien Sharane Proverbs, all of Parish Land, were accused of carrying out the armed robbery at the Monster Grill and Bar on June 17th. Elvis Graham, the owner of the Rendezvous Christchurch business, was shot multiple times during the incident. Two firearms and a quantity of ammunition were recovered during the police investigations. Meantime, two St. Peter teenagers have been granted $3,000 bail after they pleaded guilty to stealing several items worth close to $1,600 from a British visitor over the weekend. They are Dennis Jamolio Brown, 17, and Michael Tyreek Worrell, 19, both of Farm Road. It's alleged the duo took a bag from under a beach chair as the visitor slept. The first-time offenders are to return to court on September 25th. In other news now, it's on to phase two as the National Union of Public Workers has called senior members to a meeting as the union made it clear it will not be backing down in the dispute with the Barbados Investment Development Corporation. The NUPW is against the move by the BIDC to retire 13 workers, all of whom have reached the age of 60. It has called for the letters to be rescinded. NUPW President Kenny McDowell, in an address after the march, called out committee of management members, shop stewards and councillors to a meeting at 2 this afternoon at its Dalkeith Road headquarters. Acting Assistant General Secretary Wayne Walwyn says it's time to plan the next phase of industrial action. We have to review the situation and what possible way forward in terms of action that we may need to, to take in looking at this matter. As you know, the union is committed to a process to ensure that this matter is addressed in a satisfactory and definitive manner. And we want to ensure that the rights, respect for workers is restored to an extent where we can start sitting down again, having dialogue, open and honest dialogue before we make decisions that impact on workers' terms and conditions of employment. A local chef believes the home economics curricula across the island's secondary schools needs to be restructured. Chef Peter Eady says some aspects of the curricula are out of date. The popular chef has been producing the Junior Dueling Challenge for the last decade and says many of the participants often score highly when they return to the classroom. This is different. What, what is being taught here is now more in, in up to date with what is required by the industry and the students are being taught at that level. I think what happens when it's happening in the primary and the secondary schools is that the way they teach home, home economics and what they're teaching with these casseroles and things, things like that and four hours to do it, that has to change. That does not apply to everyday living anymore at all. Nobody has four hours to cook anymore. So 45 minutes there, and you can see from here today, from start and everything raw to finish and eating. Start appetizer, main course and dessert, 45 minutes. Several sections of Christchurch will on Thursday experience water shortages and outages as a result of ongoing work by the Barbados Water Authority. The work is part of its Capital Works program. The shutdown will be between the hours of 9 in the morning and 4 in the evening. Affected areas will include Vauxhall Tenantry Road, Vauxhall Gardens, Kingsland Park, parts of Kendall Hill, Barrack Hill and surrounding districts. Customers are asked to store adequate amounts of water during this time. Discipline your children. The message from parents of the two parents, that is, from principal of the St. Paul's Primary School, Sandra Small Thompson. It came during the school's graduation ceremony held at the Lloyd Erskine Sandiford Center. Speaking on the theme Spotlight on Character, Building for the Future, Ms. Small Thompson says parents must take control. You don't need to be too frenzy, frenzy. You are still the parent. So let them understand that you are the parent. Maintain your authority. 
Be willing to spend the time with them. Make sure that you de de define limits for the behavior. It's going to take time. It's going to take effort. It's going to take perseverance. The mighty Gabby is back. The former Calypso monarch intends to compete in this year's Piccadilly Crop competition after being out for two years. He will be performing in the Big Show tent. The announcement was made at the Bagatelle Great House in St. Thomas. About four weeks ago, I was rehearsing a song called Reparation at UE for the, the uh, Sir Hilary Beckles inauguration as the Pro Vice Chancellor University of West Indies. And in the middle of re uh, rehearsing this song, the idea just hit me. Look, why not call Harlem and find out if there's still a space in the tent to come to sing. And um, I did. And then after that, uh, I just got the bug. Time for a break now, but we'll have news from the region and further afield when we come back. To find all the popover action and the best parties this popover, there's only one place to be. 98.1 The One, your Soka Central. When a counselor asked how much my husband drinks, I said, not that much. I don't know why I said that. He always drank too much. But I guess I'm so used to keeping it a secret that I didn't tell the truth to myself or anyone else. My husband drinks with friends after work. He has a couple of drinks at home with dinner and a few more while we watch TV. Pretty soon he's shouting at me and blaming me for all of his problems. I just can't take it anymore. A counselor recommended al family groups. She said al members have had experiences just like mine, and they would explain how al is helping them. I didn't want to go to al but I'm sure glad I did. Is someone's drinking breaking your heart? You might be surprised at what you can learn in an al family group.